Right, so it's not only going to be an urban dictionary, but then I, I, we, by general consensus, we have agreed that embellisha is now an English word. Embellisha. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm feeling like a lexicographer now. So I no, it's when, it's when it's in the dictionary, that's when we'll be well, like MVP. It's my own dictionary. <laughs> All right, oh, yeah. we have the Lafakos in the house. Great, great, great woman. I, wow. I mean, it's almost like some of your pictures, like, wow, how do you do it? I seriously, that was, I mean, we'll start with that. Yeah. But then great to have you on the show. Welcome. Thank you. All right, so let's just start with that question. It's also showing me that, okay, so that, you, so that I say, you know, are no farms in it. You read it, read it, and then you answer. You read the question. So you interview yourself. <laughs> oh, goodness. Hello, fine girl. What's the secret? Aha! So you know, you know, you know we not scam the question. You know, yeah. So you answer. So I you tell yourself an answer. Wow. Uh, I don't know. It's just about, um, I don't know how to say this, just taking care of yourself, drinking lots of water, you know, um, doing a lot of um, toxic exercises, uh, eat fruits, eat vegetables, be cool, be calm, be nice, smile always. Mm. That's just it for me. Just be a happy person from within. Okay, <laughs> that's not gonna work. I'm wondering now, how, how, on, <laughs> on the average, how many, how much of water should I take in a day? Just. Uh, well, I do the normal eight glass, wow. you know, cup I'm of water. First thing in the morning, right? Yes, first thing in the morning. I told At you. Times you can first put lemon morning. in it and lemon, cucumber, lemon you know. Water. So, you know, it makes you feel Good. That and change of feeling, you know. Yeah. I love your hair, Team Natural. Thank you. Yeah, the Team Natural. Yeah. Thing. yeah. <laughs> I didn't see any embellishment. I didn't see it well. Just on the oh, side. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. I made everything. this. That's um, an Ankara material. Material, exactly. I just quickly made it this morning. Wow. Okay, you know, okay. so. that was, it was so quick. You just yeah, so quick. tied it up or mm -hmm. you used needle and thread? I used um, needle and thread. Wow. Then I just pleated it and that was it. That was so cool. easy. First look yeah. at you and... I'm like, beauty queen, why didn't really? you contest for something? Any kind of beauty <laughs> contest at all? Uh, well, I actually did, but that was in 2008. I contested for um, more like an heritage kind of uh, um, beauty contest. It awesome. was called um, Susio Gay. Yeah, awesome. so I was Susio Gay for like a year. And after that, I just, um, you know, dabbled into something else. Awesome. Okay, right. right. So um, you are at Embellisha, right? Yeah. Okay, good. That's... Someone who makes stuff, you know, makes stuff beautiful and all of that. Exactly. Let's talk about what you do. First of all, is would it, I, I've never met an embellisher before. Do you have? <laughs> is this something? No, it's cool when you start up something and you're a harbinger in a particular profession. Mm. Have there been people like you before you? Uh, yes, there are actually. There are okay. a lot of people that do what I do, but you know, they just have different names and names, uh, okay. yes. And the thing is, uh, people don't really see them out there except when you want to do weddings. There's okay. wedding planners and all that. So that's when you get to make um, fascinators, um, you know, bridal hand fan, beads and all that, which are all the things I do. do. But since I do not sew clothes, I just design. I give it to the tailor what I want. They make it out for me. Okay. So what I just do is add a little bit of effect, which is the nice. embellishment, um, embellishment, you know, thing. Mm. So that is what it is. So I just um, try to make it look good, mm. put some little, little touch, do some flowers, you know, more like an art and craft, um, you know, um, art and craft. Art and craft, yes. right? Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about body. your Afrocentric style too. You, <laughs> you do a little ashwabi. Exactly. Ashoki. Ashoki, ashwabi. Right. Use damask to make fascinators, right. to do all kind of things. Anything right. you can actually think of. Your shoes, your bags, bangles, anything. Yeah. Uh, you but know. there are people like that everywhere. Yeah. When, when, you, when you go to... First thing you learn when you get to NYSC camp is how to make fascinators, fascinators. how to do that. So mm -hmm. what makes yours stand out from the rest? Because it's everywhere. What makes yours unique? Yes, it's everywhere. Mine is that I put um, a touch of Ankara. That's um, a touch of Ankara with net. Then I like to do um, something from the burlesque. Yeah, that's more like yeah. a vintage. Vintage you know? stuff, yeah. Yeah, it's like a heart. It has, you know, just a little kind of heart, you know. It is called um, burlesque at times. Okay. So you just add, um, you make it in Ankara or um, Damask material or anything uh, that is African. Then mm -hmm. I had a bit of net and um, put some stones or beads or something around it just to make it look, uh, wow. Like, wow. This is different. <laughs> <laughs> wow, awesome. Do you only embellish ladies? How embellish me? Okay, I can, if I, if I want to embellish, I, I need right. um, maybe like a piece of paper, 
paper, I please. Okay, if please. there is paper, uh, I can just make a sample. Be, uh, a yeah. paper and a scissors. Paper, paper and scissors, scissors please. Yes. Just those yeah. two. Just yeah, those just two. Okay, so you piece of paper and scissors will get that for you. Yes, then I would embellish you. You'll look great. So then, yeah, okay, but then from what you're saying now, do you have, um, is your clientele, is it really um, male, is it really male based? Like, do you also have male clientele? Uh, yes, I but, do have um, male, yes, I do, I do. It's mainly female, but then I do male in the sense that I do boutonnieres for male. That's um, when they're having weddings or, you know, or churches, you do um, pocket okay. roses and all okay, that. Yeah, it's no called that. either corsage or boutonnieres. Well, so like, I make corsage. that corsage Please or boutonnieres. <laughs> I like to know. C-O-R. Okay, C-O-R. Okay. S A C O R Yeah S A C O R S A G E G E Corsage that we call it some people call it pocket towel some call it pocket handkerchief or you call it boutonnieres as well as B O U B O U T O T O double N N N I E R I E R Yes Wow boutonnier Wow 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 Post it Post it She said that She said that Okay good So Apart from, um, you know, do guys, I mean, we can also wear Ankara shoes now. It's only for the ladies Yeah, now. yeah, guys do yeah, Ankara, Ankara shoes, shoes and um, Ankara all those eyeglass. bands, bands. There, you know, but with I'm a bit of beads and all that. An Ankara watch or something. Or oh, Ankara yeah, bikini. The, yes, there is Ankara bikini. I awesome. have one. Yes! Ah, you don't have to say that now. By the way, you don't have to say that now. Do you want me to scatter this old place? Ah, <laughs> no, no, no. I'm that sure you, you scatter it for everybody. And just a few of us, you scatter it for. You, and, <laughs> and the audience at home, of course, definitely will be, will be dazed. So, um, do you, are you part of the... Um, school of thought that believes that simple is the best or yes, do you simple. believe in simple is the it? best at times you try to have all the bling bling and you know all those but I think I like simplicity oh, yeah. I believe in simplicity It's very it's just beautiful on you it's just who you are it, you know um, it speaks louder than when you have so much around you and uh, you know okay. I, so so about that, the, the complexity of the Chaos <laughs> and some people actually is glamorous. So yes, yes, yes. Compare that with simplicity. Uh, well, it depends on how you combine it together. Like, uh, well, we have lots of ladies in the fashion world right now that are doing so well. Unlike, you know, then that you have. Um, different color blocking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, color blocking can be really nice, but then it depends on what kind of color you. You know, you put Combined. together, yes. Oh, right. It depends on how you wear it. It depends on whatever accessories you embellish it with as mm -hmm. well. So that is what really, uh, I don't know, that's what really matters mm -hmm. and how you exude, you know, the whole thing you're putting on. Okay, awesome. let's talk about the financial viability of uh, the industry. Oh, yeah. how, how, is, how rewarding is it financially? How, how rewarding, rewarding is this is business? Yes, okay, financially. financially. Oh, well... Um, first of all, every weekend we have people who do wedding. Mm, so okay. there is every possibility that you get a job in, you know, a week or at the end of the week. Like, oh, Lola, I hear you do fascinators. I have wedding coming up, so so day and all that. That is there. So there is there is wedding, you know, every weekend. So definitely, um, that is there for you. Mm. Then. Um, then as well, you have people who go to churches. Yeah, we go to mm -hmm. church, mm -hmm. you know, every Sunday too. And some people just want fascinators or some people just want boutonnieres and some people just want, you know, something to just put on their head, you know. So, you know, somehow there is a, um, you know, a financial breakthrough for someone for, there. Okay, yeah. so if I wanted to make an order now, I say I want to get a tie and a boutonniere. Mm -hmm. Ankara, yes. like traditional material. Have you done something like that before? I, I, I actually have a demo, but it's oh. just that I didn't bring most of my, you know, oh. stuff here. Yes, I, I have a demo of great. that, you know. A uh, bow tie actually... in Ankara, then Ooh. normal tie, mm -hmm. and, um, you wow. know, shoes and... Are you serious? Okay, so I, 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 while, while we're talking now... Would, would these things ever run out of fashion? Uh, like, no, we, I don't, I, it's I don't think recycled, so. we go back to the... Um, 16th century, we get the fans and everything, yes, then we yes. come again. It's like recycled. Yeah, so it, is that anything new at all, or it's the same old, same old? No, it's actually the same. It's the same. But then, um, I mean, those things then are still the things now. The same things. Yeah, so you just um, add a bit of your own touch, or uh, then it depends on 
the material, like I say, is actually the material that makes a whole lot of um, difference in all of these things. Mm -hmm. You know, you can decide to just use normal satin, silk materials, which are things that we see everywhere. But if you use something like um, maybe Ashoki or Damask or um, Ankara, it makes it, you know, a little bit different from mm -hmm. what you have during the vintage age. Mm -hmm. Okay, so apart from clothes, is there any other thing that you embellish? Uh, well, apart from clothes, I do art and craft. Like I said, like okay. what I'm about to do Yay! now is art and craft. Okay. You, okay. you can do it while you're talking. Do you need a pen? Do you uh, need a pen? Well, not really. Oh, I, I don't okay, need okay. a pen. All oh, right. Okay. So apart from okay, let me use this. I prefer that. Okay, and embellish. I look at you, and we we just invented the word. He did anyway. The, okay. um, apart from embellishing, what mm -hmm. else do you would you have envisioned yourself doing? Like maybe ten years ago when you were younger, what else? What else would you have loved to do? Okay, um, I love cars a lot. Aside, um, you know, embellishing clothes and um, this art and craft, where I really want to take my own art and craft to is um, um, more like a graffiti because I do a lot of stuff on coral draw, mm -hmm. do so logos, cool. okay. brandings, branding and all that, all that which I'm okay. yet to expand. But in two years from now, I see myself being um, a car painter. Mm. I want to do lots of graffitis on cars because oh, I love cars. Yeah. Nice. Paint That's cars, cool. change the colors, make it look, you know, um, nice. Like, nice. okay, a lady did this, yes. She has a painting uh, yeah. outfit that, you know, you can paint your it's cars. It's like Pimp My Ride. That. Yeah, awesome. more like Pimp Your Ride. Right, so and go ahead, let's see. Let's go down. Uh -huh. Ooh. Cool. Do you, okay, do you, do you get to always, do you do this first before you... No, 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 I okay. do not do this, but because I don't have materials, materials here, yeah, okay, but this so is, that's why I'm using... This can suffice okay, so you're that. the natural, it just comes from inside, you don't have to sketch <laughs> or think about it. Uh, no, I don't have, have to, but book. at times I do sketchings. Mm -hmm. I sketch at times okay. uh -huh. with pencil okay. and uh, just to see what I really want to get out of it. Talking about embellishment, what about doing it for houses or probably yes, interior Yes, you do for houses, for interiors, for car exteriors and all that. Yeah. And those are, like this um, flower behind me, I okay. really love it. It's really lovely. It's something yeah. I can make with material. Awesome. Wow. Thank yeah. you. But there is, a, there is a material called felt material. It's okay. very nice. Mm -hmm. You can make them into different flowers mm -hmm. and just put um, a stick of gum behind it. And you have it all around your houses. Very lovely like a wallpaper. Nice. Yeah. So I do all those two for homes and, you know, um, then for cars. Uh, yeah, basically that's just what it is. But looking for, at... Aside from putting them on human, you, you put them on your houses, you put them on cars, you put them on anything. Sounds yeah. expensive. So what are we doing now? <laughs> what are we working on now? I'm, I'm actually making a felt flower. Felt flower. Your, your okay. boutonniere. Okay. Yeah. So All like right. that you get embedded. So while you're doing it, you just run us Yeah, you just cut process. a circle. Okay. okay. After cutting a circle, then you cut into spiral. Yeah. The circle you know. was almost perfect. Yeah, <laughs> almost perfect. And she didn't need to <laughs> use the... Just, she just went around and you just did it around. You cut around. it into spiral. Yeah. And... Uh, oh. And it's so neat. <laughs> Easy. So this is like you leave a base. No, 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 this is like a base. You just cut it into spiral, oh, right. then okay. you leave a base. Yeah, so okay. there you go. You have your. Then we're just going to roll it in. Whoa. All right. Wow. Yeah. So easy. So yeah. easy. Exactly. Easy. So when you so have easy. a material, you can actually do this with. You know, yeah, the no, material. No, no. I, I don't agree. Nothing in this life is easy. It's not easy. <laughs> it looks easy it's anyway. Not, it's not easy. Because <laughs> like the point is, you know, you have a number of problems with your uh, stuff with your phone or your laptop, and yeah. then it has a big problem, and then go to somebody that knows it. <laughs> yes, and it exactly. charges very high. And All it charges you very you just high. Just one and yeah. you go, ah, is it just this? <laughs> Why didn't you know it? <laughs> <laughs> so I don't yes, agree. It's not it. easy. Actually, you just see them everywhere. You feel like, oh, okay, this thing is really nice and all that. But you know, at times it takes, well, if you're artistic, if you like art, Mm -hmm. and all that mm -hmm. you just take another look at it like okay can i really do this thing how did it come about this thing mm -hmm. what this thing is going to bring out you wouldn't believe it once i finish doing it this is a felt flower i'm making wow. and you're like oh so this is how they do this thing just wow. like this wow. you know so that's just um uh, i'm so almost wow. done Awesome. Yeah. Actually, so I would have needed a gum, but I don't think you have a gum wow. here. Do we have, do we have a gum? <laughs> okay. No, don't gum worry. It's just, it's just a sample. It's not something uh, Okay, it's not the real thing. Yeah. My so you can try it out when you get around. Yeah, I could. I could. You know, or you can show it to your wife. Good luck. Or your daughter. Yeah. You know. 
Nice. Like so that circular part is the base? Yeah, that's the base where you put the gum. Wow. You just put the gum, you gum it. Aww. So let's just leave it for a while. Wow. So this, yeah, wow, it looks flower. like a rose. Wow, yeah. so, so you just cute. put the, um, um, like there are some metal, whatever they put uh, behind you, like clip and all that. Then you clip it to your, you know. Wow. And also you can have it hung on um, any okay. stem of the, you know, just okay. gum it and if it's a material. Great. Just wow. have plenty of it and you put it all around the as a flower. Wow. So how do you how do you get your inspiration? <laughs> because this I would look at this and I wouldn't think about it the first look. So <laughs> yeah, that's how did it happened. come about? Did you learn it or you actually just sat no, down? No, actually okay, it was see. it was fascinating. I learned. Okay. That was yeah. what I paid to you know, that was the only thing I paid to learn. But after some time I was just like, Okay, since I love art, I love um, craft and all that, then I went online, I did a little bit of research and um, so I just see some images and I try it out like, okay, I can do this, I can do that. Yeah. And um, I'm not just doing it for myself alone because I want to be able to empower a lot of ladies mm. through this because they may not really have that access to, you know, to browse and to do all of these things mm -hmm. or, you know, but once I make it known to people that these are things that they can achieve, it's another way of making money. I mean, it's not just one source, it's okay for you to make money, you can make money from you different, different sources. Yeah. yeah, so... Once I want to empower ladies with awesome, with right. this. wow, so when you look at it, when you look at it though, what's what's okay? Is it um, let's look at the name you. now. Lola Fakos is the name. What's the yeah. name of um, the brand? Yeah, that's it. That's it's Lola Fakus. Fakus. Yeah. Fakus. F A Q U Z. Ah, we be Lola Fakus in Nigeria. No, no, no. no, that's my own surname. Oh, it's that's Fakus. Awesome. Yes, okay. but because I uh, uh, Pascal. J.T.D. La Langue Française à l'école. Because I studied French in school. So the first time the, the lecturer was like, um, Lola de Facuse. And I was arguing with him, like, my name is not Facuse, it is Facus. He was like, say Facuse, you know, like, I don't care, je m'en fous, je m'en fiche. I'm like, ah, that's my name, it's Facus. He said, but in French, there is no ah. So it's you. Mm. So you do the. Cues. Wow. So that was just how I came about the name, like Lola Fakus. Awesome. So, cool. Awesome. All right. Wow. So how do people get in contact with uh, Lola Fakus? You know, the, someone wants to make an order from you, or someone yeah. wants to do stuff like that. How do they get in contact with you? Oh uh, well, on my, um, I, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Facebook, and Instagram. It's just Alola Fakus actually. Mm -hmm. So they can get me there, and. Uh, um, my phone number is actually on most of the, most of the okay. yeah, pages. Oh. Then, your website, just about your then my website, um, www.lolafacuse.com. That's my website. Oh, All right. Thank yeah. you so, so cool much. Stuff, no, you have to be um, uh, here. Yeah. <laughs> so I stuff don't. like this. Now, the point is this. She used this just as a blueprint. But then with, with Ankara and then for a guy, put it here, it's going to yeah. look very beautiful. Very I, beautiful. So with satin, with, you know, any Anything, kind of material. Kind of wow. material. Yes, yes, right, yes. Thank you. It's been great having you on the yeah. show. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank, thank you, you so much. much. I really had fun. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> it's been The Breakfast Show on R2 TV. Thank you very much to everyone who's been a part of the show. We will see you for the FFF edition tomorrow.